Welcome to Hama's Diary. Today I'm sharing one of my favorite recipe, bakery style chicken patties. They are crispy and flaky, puffed golden pastry filled with shredded chicken in a creamy white sauce. This recipe is shared by a sweet friend of mine who happens to be a pastry chef in a popular bakery. This is their secret recipe. Without any further ado, let's hop on to the recipe now. Right now, you can see all the ingredients. Take a screenshot of it or see the detailed written recipe in the description box. For the filling, we need boiled and shredded chicken. Here, I'm using my instant pot to boil the chicken. You can do the same on stovetop as well. In the inner pot, add chicken pieces. You can use any type of chicken, including frozen, boneless, bone-in, breast, or chicken thighs. Add about half a cup of water, a tablespoon of vinegar, two fat pinches of salt, and a tablespoon of low-sodium soy sauce. Give it a quick mix. You can also put chicken pieces on the trivet and then pressure cook it, but I like to keep it simple. Secure the lid. Make sure the valve is set to sealing. Press manual or pressure cook button. Select the time for 12 minutes high pressure. After the cook time has finished, do a natural release for 5 minutes and then went out the remaining pressure. Carefully open up the lid. The chicken should be done during this time. Transfer the chicken to a mixing bowl. Once cool enough to handle, shred the chicken with the help of a fork or a hand mixer. So the chicken is completely shredded. Now you know how to boil chicken in the instant pot. Let's start step number two. Turn on the saute mode. Add about three tablespoons of butter. Let it melt, then add one medium size finely chopped onion. Cook the onions until they are soft and translucent. It takes about two to three minutes. Now add about one to two tablespoons of olive oil. Since butter has the tendency to burn, to prevent that, use the combination of butter and oil, which has a higher smoking point. You can use this tip whenever you are sauteing something with butter. Add 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Quickly mix and cook the flour for a few minutes. Add about 1 cup of full-fat milk gradually if the pot is too hot turn off the saute mode and keep stirring until it's smooth and sauce like consistency now add a tablespoon of soy sauce a quarter teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon garlic powder half a teaspoon crushed and powdered black pepper add one chicken bouillon cube or one teaspoon of chicken powder introduce the shredded chicken back in the pot with the help of spatula mix well add few tablespoons of milk if needed we need the mixture to a spreadable consistency. Once the chicken is fully incorporated, let the mixture cool down to room temperature. Now add about half a cup of red diced bell pepper. Add a quarter cup of yellow bell pepper. You can take any color you like. A tablespoon of chopped scallions add about a cup of shredded cheese 
Mix all the ingredients very well and let it sit. Filling is completely ready. Let's work on the puff pastry now. We need about 3 sheets of pastry dough. Use a steel cutter to cut out circles. You can also make chicken patties in different shapes like a square, rectangle or a triangular shape. Dip the cutter in dry flour and then keep cutting the circles. Do the same for all three sheets. Once you are done cutting, place the cut pieces on a wooden board or a flat surface. Brush all the pieces with an egg wash. For the egg wash, in a small bowl, take one whole egg and a tablespoon of water. Mix well and here you go. Add a teaspoon of chicken mixture on all the pieces one by one. Once you are done adding the mixture on all the pieces, then place the second piece of puff pastry on all the pieces. Now repeat the same step. Cover the second piece with the egg wash and then top it again with the third piece. Use a smaller size cutter to give it a hint. We don't have to cut it all the way. Press it down slightly to seal the edges. Repeat the same process with all the pastries. Preheat the air fryer at 350 for 5 minutes. Lightly grease the pan with cooking spray. Place them in the air fryer, pan or basket. Cook them at 375 for 10 to 12 minutes. At the 7 minute mark, flip if needed. This will go in the preheated oven at 375 for 15 to 16 minutes. Air fried puff pastries are ready. Let's dish them out. Baked chicken patties are ready to serve as well. Let them cool for a couple of minutes, then enjoy with a dip and a cup of tea. Few things I want to share about this recipe. If you like to skip egg, brush with melted butter or olive oil. To prepare these ahead, stuff the puff pastries and freeze them. When ready to cook, take it out of the freezer and let them thaw for some time. Then pop them in the oven. They are crispy and flaky. I hope you like the recipe. Do try it and leave us your feedback. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.